Hi there, this is my solution to the problem about which you guys had a query on the WhatsApp group. It's the problem in Alexander and Sadiku, the text, the textbook, and it's problem 2.18. It has a drawing. The drawing is drawing 2.82, and it looks like this. There's a 30-volt source and a 3-ohm resistor. Then there's a 10-volt source, and then there's a node labeled A a 5 ohm resistor and an 8 volt source and it indicates a current I flowing through here node B is over here and this is labeled VAB okay and the question says find I and V, A, B. So the first thing that you can notice is that everything is in series. So it's a series circuit. And the current I flows through all the elements. So we can write the voltage across the the voltage drop across the three ohm resistor. So let's call that plus V three ohm, and we'll call this plus V five ohm. So we know from Ohm's law we know that the V three ohm is equal to 3 ohms times I and the voltage drop across the 5 ohm resistor is equal to 5 ohms times I. And now we can use Kirchhoff's voltage law because we only have this one unknown I which you'll see when we write down the Kirchhoff's voltage law equation. So we're going to start over here in this corner, and we're going to proceed around the circuit like I've shown you, and we write down the sign that we get to first. So we write minus 30 volts. This is by Kirchhoff's voltage law. Let me write that. By Kirchhoff's voltage law, we get minus 30 volts. Plus 3I, that's the voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor. Minus 10 volts. Plus 5I, which is the voltage drop across the 5 ohm resistor plus 8 volts, and that all has to sum to zero. So if you add all the like terms, then you get 8i, and that is equal to 32 volts. So i is equal to 32. 2 over 8, which is equal to 4 amps. Now, okay. we have to calculate. So we've calculated I, which they wanted, and we found it to be 4 amps. To find VAB, you should think of the circuit 
like this. Let me redraw it like this. So this is that node A. And here we have a 10 volt source. And we have the 3 ohm resistor. And we have the 30 volt source. And then this is that node B, right? And down here we've got a 5 ohm resistor and we've got that 8 volt source. And remember we've got the current I flowing through here, which we found out previously is equal to 4 amps. So if you look at the circuit from this point, then you can see in this branch here, we're going to look at this branch, or those three branches, then you can see what we've got is we've got current I flowing here. So for the 30 volt source, it's fr flowing from the lower to the higher voltage. So we've got plus 30 volts. Then over here, we've got um, power being absorbed and the voltage drop there is 4 amps times 3 ohms, so it's minus 12 volts. So over there we've got minus 12 volts. And then over here again, for the 10 volt source, we've got current flowing from the lower to the higher voltage, so we've got plus 10 volts. And if we add all that up, we get a total of 40 volts minus 12 volts. So that gives us 28 volts. But now you can see from the way that we've drawn the, the circuit that those two pieces of the circuit are in parallel to each other. So the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor and the 8 volt source must balance out. And that we can use as a check to see that we've calculated that VAB correctly. So we're saying that VAB is equal to 28 volts. And so if you look at the 5 ohm resistor, 5 ohms times 4 amps is a voltage drop of minus 20 volts. And over here, for the 8 volt source, we've got um, the current flowing from the higher voltage to the lower voltage. So the 8 volt source is also absorbing power and it is absorbing power of 8 volts. So you can see that our calculation balances out. That's minus 8 volts and minus 20 volts. So that's minus 28 volts as we would expect from the um, conservation of energy law, the two must be balanced to each other. So VAB is equal to 28 volts. I hope that makes sense.